Well, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are gonna we're gonna actually change things up a little bit. When I left you in the last episode, I said I was gonna take a couple of days off. <clears throat> Excuse me, a couple of in-game days off, and kind of get my life back. Uh, you know, get organization, uh, palletize stuff because I kind of you know n neglected a few things around the house and whatnot. You know, trying to get the horde base done. Uh, but I changed my mind, and uh, what I want to do is I want to get the irrigation going now, <laughs> so that way. Uh, we can really get the crops going and <clears throat> don't have to screw around anymore with, uh, you know, buckets of water and that sort of thing. Um, so what the way I understand this is that we have to put an irrigation pump next to a water source. And my first question is, would the game consider the wishing well the water source? Uh, I don't know that. So we're going to try and see if that will uh, do the trick. And if it does, you know, then we just basically run pipes uh, out to the crops there. Uh, to water them and you know with once we do get this in place i might even um make uh well i, I don't know I, I was thinking i might even make longer rows of crops maybe not of everything but of some things that we use a lot of like i'm always running out of potatoes and carrots because it's used in almost all of the good foods and that sort of thing um but let's not worry about that right now let's just see if we can get the irrigation actually working Okay, so uh, with that being said, let's go. I think we're going to probably have to do this in the farm table is my guess. Doggone it. Every time I put this down, I keep putting it down backwards. I thought I fixed it, but it's still bass backwards. You son of a... Oh, um, one of you guys told... Uh, I was told by somebody, I can't remember. I think it was during a live stream that you can take fertilizer and put it on crops. And then the crops will stay there and you don't have to replant them. I'm thinking that that's maybe the newer version of Ravenhurst because um, there's I'm right-clicking on this plant and it's not doing anything. Plus, if you look at the description of the fertilizer, it says using fertilizer and recipes of seed creation will yield you more seeds, and it doesn't say anything else beyond that. So I'm thinking that that you know I I'm in the ver the version of Ravenhurst before you know they came out with food spoilage and stuff. If you're watching me for the first time, the reason I'm on the older version is because I had already started this series and was quite a ways into it when they came out with the new update, and I didn't want to start over. If you've ever played Ravenhurst uh, all the way into the end game, you'll understand why. <laughs> it takes so long to progress in this mod. I mean, hell, we're on, like, episode, what, 80-something right now? Um, and, yeah, it's just a, just a long, long haul. So, uh, yeah, I didn't start over because of that reason. But anyway, um, all that to say, it doesn't look like the fertilizer in my version of Ravenhurst works uh, that way for the plants. So that kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. We have one more thing of compost that we can um, put in there. Okay, now let's look in the farm table and let's see what this irrigation business is all about. So, like I said, what I understand is we have to build a pump, um, which is this thing here. And that's actually pretty cheap. We just need 30 mechanical parts and some screws. And we already got the screws, too. Okay. I haven't been back to uh, the horde base either, you know, to fix it. But I probably won't do anything with that until, you know, real close to the next horde um, at this point. So, okay. So, let's build the pump. And then <clears throat> let's see what this says. Your pump is empty. Please place it next to or over a water source to provide it with water so it may begin to flow through your irrigation. So this is a water source, right? So I'm assuming we can put it here. If we can, you know, then the next thing is, okay, how do we run the pipes so that, you know, the zombos don't get to them? I wonder if we could run the pipes like up and over the wall. That might look a little weird but um we could try it that way if it doesn't work with the wishing well or you know or the other thing we could do is just make another wishing well actually now that i think about it because they're not that expensive that might be the better way to do this so we could make the well uh, assuming it works right maybe put it right here and then just make like a manifold of pipes going out and down the rows that makes more sense. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do if it works. Okay, so let's go back over this way. We got 30 seconds. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how to tell if and when it is working. So hopefully that will 
that will be obvious to us. Um, it doesn't look like I can pick that up. Well, let's not pick that up quite yet. Let's just wait until the pump's done, and then we'll see what's up with that. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff in here for now. Okay, so um, let's just put it right here for a second. It says the pump is empty. Does it take time for it to fill? Or is it just not working next to the well? Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't really say if it takes time for it to fill up or what the deal is with it. All it says is empty. Does it have to have a pipe connected to it? Let's try that next. Okay, so pipe cap, pipe corner, pipe joint, pipe straight. Um, okay, so that needs actual pipe pipes. Little tiny, like, what would you say, three-quarter inch iron pipes to make ginormous four-foot in diameter irrigation pipes. Go figure. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's make the straight one. Oh, those take a little while to make, don't they? Uh, let's make the straight one, and let's make the, jo the joint um, to see how these fit together here. Okay, so we have our pipe here. All right, I'm going to say that this isn't working. Hopefully, we pick these back up and they're not destroyed. Wow, that's 2,500 hit points. Nope, that was destroyed. Is it... Um, oh, are we outside of our land claim boundary? I don't think we would be. Oh yeah, we're we're within the ba the boundary, like way in the boundary. Hmm. So you can't pick them up, and you can't. Uh, and you can't, and and you destroy them when you take them apart. What the hell, man? Would it make any difference at all if we wrenched it? Probably not. Yeah, see, that's giving us scrap iron parts. I don't think wrenching it's going to make any difference, but let's just try it anyway. I mean, they're not that expensive to make, so it's not like we're out a whole <clears throat> bunch of stuff, but still. All right, well, because the mod is kind of vague on <clears throat> exactly what a water source is, and because they didn't give us a way to pick that stuff up, I am going to spawn those two parts back in because I'm just going to do it. If you don't like it, too bad. We're going to do it anyway. Okay, irrigation pump full. Um, I'm going to spawn one of these in, but I'm not going to keep it. I just want to see if it looks any different, like if we can tell the difference between a full one. Like, does it change color or what's the deal there? Okay, so this is the full one. It doesn't look any different. It just says that it's full. Okay. All right. Well, let's try something else then. It said we could put those in water. I don't know if it would count the swimming pool as water, though. If it does, let's actually put it over here. All right. It still shows empty. Doesn't say anything at all about having to hook it up to power. So I'm guessing it doesn't work in the in the pool too, because this is probably not considered a water source. Alrighty then. Well that kinda sucks. 
because I think what that means then is we're going to have to go to an actual body of water to build our farm. Ah, okay. Well, um, I mean, this is the nearest place to do that, I guess. We can't do anything down here because those are POIs. All right, well, um, what I'm going to do then is bust up, bust this up, and break the other one, get another one, and and some pipes, and we'll just go out to that to the lake and see if that's where it needs to be. And if it is, then I guess we're going to have to have a separate farm. I mean, it's still going to be way worth having it, you know, be able to automatically water itself even though we have to travel to get to it now than having it in our backyard here. All right, so, um, yeah. So let's do this. Let's spawn a an empty one back in, just one this time. And let's grab that pipe, and I'm also going to spawn in my pipe again too. Whoops. Because you guys saw me make make it legit. Metal pipe straight. Irrigation pipe. Oh, no, that one's full. Where's the non-full one? Irrigation pipe empty. Okay. So we're just taking one of those. And let's head on out to... We've got a screamer out there. Uh, let's head on out to the lake and see if placing it there uh, does the trick. Oh, for goodness sakes. Cut it out. Um, actually, we need to go this way. Okay, so we have a, a flat-ish area around here. And we don't have to build out into the lake now like we did before in our other place. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go take a look at this POI over here. It's got like a really large flat area. I was, I've was i passed this by a couple times and I've thought to myself, man, this wouldn't be a bad place to do a farm because it's a really large flat area. See, there's lots of room out uh, here. You know, we could even... We could even just do a quick raid of the house if we wanted to, but... All right, well, here, let's deal with our friends here. Yeah, see, this is... This is a really good spot to do a garden. I mean, we could just make our rows run along here. And, uh... Or we could make it... We can have everything run along through here. It's a great spot. Um, I might have to dig up the sand and replace it with soil, which we can do, of course. Not a big deal. Okay, so let's do this. Let's assume... Um, let's assume that we're going to run... Down this way, I guess. I'm, just, I'm, I'm thinking about how we're going to lay out the pipes is what I'm doing here. And we actually have kind of like a little seam here, which appears to me to be right in the center of the area that's flat. So that kind of works out in our favor, right? Okay, so let's go up here. We'll turn and face north. And we'll place this guy. That should work, I would think, right? All right, so it is in the water. And it still shows empty. So are we just talking about time? Does it just take time for the pump to fill up? And, you know, it doesn't say we had to put it in the water. It said in, on, or near. The instructions do. It doesn't say anything about having to power it up. Your pump is empty. Place it next to or over a water source to provide it with water so it may begin to flow through your irrigation system. Let me try something else here. 
Um, pump. Empty pump. What if it was put, like, all the way underwater? It's <laughs> you can't put it on water, because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't let you do that. Okay, well, the only thing I can think of, guys, is that it's it just takes time for it to fill up. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put... Um... I'm going to put this pipe, uh, you know what, we should have made a curved piece, huh? Oh no, you know what we should be able to do, can we rotate this? Yeah. Okay, let's put that pipe there, and then we're going to put... Actually, no. You know what? Uh, change of plants. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here like so like that and then we can run you know some corners off of here to, to run our pipes going down that way but i guess i'm just i'm gonna leave that one there too just for now uh ultimately you know i'll destroy one of these two though uh, and not keep them both because i spawned them in but um i guess we'll just come back later and see if if this fills up with water i mean i, I don't know what else to do doesn't say anything about cooking up power to it it's in water. You know, it's a it's a natural water source and it's probably just a timing thing. Okay. So for now, I'm gonna probably cut the camera, go do some work around the base, and we'll come back here later and see if that thing starts to fill up with water. Alright guys, we are back. It's the next day. And so I've just been working around the base, uh, palletizing a bunch of resources. So we're working on stone now. And uh, I'm putting all that stuff in these back storage crates. This is all lead, palletized lead. This is all palletized clay. Those are empty at the moment. Um, but we've got a full, you know, bunch of stone. And I got like two more, I think, down, maybe even three more down in the mine full of stone that I still have to do too. So I'm just working on that. I finished um, repairing all of the spikes from the Zombos, and uh, I went out and got some oil shale last night. Okay, let's grab out of here. And so, let's see, what else have we done? That's mostly it. Just been feeding the forges, trying to replenish my resources from the build, you know, the horde, uh, horde base build. And um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back out to that lake. And we're going to see if that um, pump has filled with water after we get some more of those going. Okay, so let's put the other pallets in here. And we can just put the other stone in here for now. All right, I think we're good. So let's um, get that going. All right. Let's head on out to our spot there and just see what's going on. Did I finish emptying this? Oh, I didn't. I still have a few more things. Okay, let me just put this stuff away real quick. Oh, I the other thing I did was I set up a... I, I put a battery uh, bank here. And, um, you know, that way I'm not running gas all the time. So I'm just going to let this wear down and then I'll turn this back on, which will charge that back up when the time comes. Uh, but this way we're not using so much gasoline. And the only thing that's running right now anyways is the drawbridge. Because I don't have the, I don't have the um, shotgun turrets uh, set up right now. This little pick we got out of a car 
Found another nail gun in the car too. Uh, but nothing too fantastic. Um, I suppose we could stop at the trader. Yeah, what the hell? Let's grab all that and we'll we'll take a stop at the trader too and see what uh, trader wrecked and Jen has. I'm not gonna go up north for now and check those traders, but we can check our two traders that we have down here. But uh, probably in the next episode, it is my intention to to do another POI. We've been sitting on the the custom high school POI, which is a tier four. And that will probably be the one that we'll do next. Uh, the sound cuts out on the motorcycle sometime. Sometimes. So let's see if this thing has water. And if it doesn't, then I'm stumped. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do for it to have water in it. But hopefully it does. Maybe it just needs a little bit of time to fill up. It's full. Beautiful. What about this one? Okay. This one is, you know, what that actually makes me think then is maybe it does work with the wishing well how come i can't pick it or break that there we go unbreak i'm just gonna break this one because we spawned this one in to test it um this makes me think though here again that maybe it does work at the wishing well and we should maybe go back and try it uh back at the base before we you know have to come all the way out here to do our garden i mean it's a it's a wonderful spot for a garden though <laughs> absolutely fantastic place but i'd still rather have it close to home so i'm just going to leave that there and i'm going to make another pump and um and try it next to the wishing well and just wait a couple more days i mean you know we can wait a couple more days it's not like we're starving or anything like that uh and see if that works and if it does you know then of course we can just keep everything at home Okay, let's go check Trader Rex inventory, and then we'll he head down to South Gen and see what she has, and then figure out what's the next move here. Um, we got some sugar butts. You know what, though? I don't really have that much stuff to sell. I don't think I'm going to burn sugar butts unless he's got something really valuable that we want to buy. Um, do, Let's take that and the pears for bowls of fruit which speaking of which let's have some fruit maybe we'll eat both of those because we're pretty low on uh, stuff there i should really be repairing these um yeah i should be but yeah whatever all right let's take a look at your inventory so these are uh, extra night vision goggles, so we're going to sell these. This is all extra. Um, we're going to get lots of money for that. I mean, one way we could make money is just to make a bunch of tools and sell them. I know I could make more money from this stuff, but that we really should. That I mean, that's worth a lot. That would be worth doing, right? This, eh. This, nah. That, nah. Here, you want some iron, dude? There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's take a look and see what he's got. So we're looking in secret stash. What I would like is, what I need is an upgrade for my steel sledge. That's probably what we need more than anything else right now. Okay. So he doesn't have anything in this normal stash that I'm interested in. Let's look at, uh, I mean in his secret stash, sorry. Let's take a look at his normal, <coughs> excuse me. No, that's the stuff I sold him. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for nothing, buddy. All right, let's head down to South Gen to see what she has. Oh, the other thing too is one of you guys told me in the comments, and keep in mind, I'm as usual, um, way, way ahead of you guys. So it today is October the 15th, but by the time you guys see this video, uh, it's actually going to be probably November 5th or 6th. I mean, I, you know, I'm quite a ways ahead of you guys. But anyway, um, you told me today in the comments that there's an actual actual custom trader um, down in the South City where I had originally put my bedroll when the, the very first time we came down there. Uh, so let's check that out, too, uh, while we're down here. Because it's always good to have another trader. All right. Let's check with uh, Trader Jen first. Uh, I'll 
I'll take the eye candy. Don't need the rest of that stuff. Take a look at your inventory. We'll look at secret stash first as usual. Tech Chunky Volume 7. Eh. Don't really use robotic turrets that much. Grandpa's learning elixir recipe. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's... Well, let's hold off on that. Let's keep that in mind, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I actually have blueberry pies cooking up back at the base. Water cooler, tough guy sunglasses. She sells pipes. You know what, though? I don't think those are irrigation pipes. First aid, Grandpa's moonshine, hobo stew. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go look you at... Stock up on medical supplies. Let's go look at that other trader first, and then if they don't have anything spectacular, we'll probably come back and buy that, um, that thingamadoodle, whatever it was. I just forgot what it was <laughs> that I wanted to buy. Okay, so let's see. Where is Higashi? Or not Higashi, Deshong. Okay, so that trader, I think, was... Hmm, was it west of the Deshong Tower or south? I don't think there was anything further to the south. Get out of here, dog. So, I, I, I remember, I looked in the video where the commenter pointed it out. And I just noticed that it was not too far from Deshong, but I just don't remember which direction it was in. But he said it'll show up on the map with, like, the ye little yellow. Yeah, I think it's this place right over here. Okay, so... Let's check this place out. I think the trader's up in there, but we gotta fight a bunch of zombies to get up there. I see a feral white there. Do we have to fight a bunch of zombies, or is there just a few in there? So far, I only see that white. You a little upset there, bud? Yeah, we've got to get a, a new uh, sledgehammer going here. I mean, I'm... I might even have like a red iron sledge. The advantage of that is we could put a lot of mods on it, even though it's not going to do the damage that the steel one does. And in terms of just raw damage output without mods, a level one steel sledgehammer, well, in the vanilla game anyways, usually does more damage than a level six iron. But of course, we have higher than level six in the mods, so. Okay. Uh, let's get Ronnie McDonnie here, too, and then everybody in the immediate vicinity. Should be clear. Well, we got Edgar here. Didn't we just kill you right over here, Edgar? Why do they always wait for you to run out of stamina to enrage? What the hell, man? Alright, I'm tired of screwing around. Oh, for goodness sakes. I do have slugs in here and not shot, so I should probably aim a little bit more accurately. Okay, so um, so we got the white there. He just woke up. That's fine. Come on over here, man. Hold still. There, that works. Is this... um? Oh, that's a door we can open. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, did we just get a whole shit ton more zombies? Or just... And are they all walkers? That's the thing. Looks like they're walk. Well, we got a running Egger, so he's probably feral. 
We have a solution for running Edgars. It's this. There. The solution has been enacted. We've solved our Edgar, our feral Edgar problem. All right, what's this? A toity. It's like an outhouse. That's kind of cool. Man, it seems like it's been such a long time since we've, or since I've done any looting or POIs, because it actually has. You guys have only had, th what, three episodes, four episodes of no looting, but for me it's been <laughs> a long, long, long time, you know, because of the, the base build and everything. A tomato plant. What's this? Uh, you know what? I don't need any of that stuff. Did we look in here? I think we did. Okay, let's go up and talk to the trader. Interesting place. Um, ah, you know what? We have our luckies back in the bike. Ah, whatever. I'm not going to go back down there. Wait, do we? Maybe I'm wearing them. Um, do 20% more damage to land claim property. Well, we'll read it for the achievement, but that's a PvP thing, of course. There's probably not a whole lot of stuff in sinks that we need, except for... Yeah, we'll take salt. Salt take... I can make salt, but it takes a long time. To, uh, you know, to cook it. And I guess sometimes we can find ammunition in sink, so that's always worthwhile. We're going to grab that for fertilizer, though. I don't know that we need to do fertilizer much anymore. All right, let's come down here. And we got a Trader Joel. Hey, buddy. Look at you, man. Okay, let's see what you have in Secret Stash. Hobo Stew, we know that. Battery Bank, Burning Shaft Mud. Ants, Muffled Connectors. Okay, he's got some Bar Brawling stuff. I think I have Sledgehammer 20, uh, or I have the ability to take that as a skill point now if I wanted to. All right, let's look at his normal stash. That's it? If we ain't got Dude, what, you're looking for, what we the hell? Get it. Um, oh, we, had it. we got another point, too, when I was mining last night, and I put that into, like I told you guys, into Healing Factor. Um, so we are now Healing Factor level 3. All right, let's take a look at our sledgehammer skill. Uh, we are, yeah, we're 26. So we would have to put a point into sledgehammer crafting. Um, but, well, how much does that cost, though? This, here's the thing, though. We're, we're not going to be able to make very high-quality sledgehammers at this point. So we're, we're going to be better off, you know, finding one, uh, either from a trader or in loot or as a reward. Let's check these lockers. Um, if you guys, I don't know if I actually said this to you guys, but um, if you watched the the looting video that I did of the colony ship, um, I found my last backpack upgrade in that uh, looting session. And um, so, you know, we're, we're completely open up except for the bottom row, which I believe we have to craft a military backpack. I need to look into that too, by the way. So, okay, well, at least we found another trader, so that's very good. And um, I'm going to mark him on the map just because I can. It'll help remind me that there is two traders down here when I'm looking at it on the map, you know, from far away, that sort of thing. And I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to make another pump. Just They're not that expensive, so I'm just going to make another one. I'm going to set it by uh, and another wishing well. And I'm going to set it out in that original spot on the other side, uh, on the garden, you know, opposite of the house. And if that fills with water, then we're good. You know, then we're just going to, I'm just going to build the pipe system right there where the garden already is. And everything is going to be right with the world. Uh, if that doesn't work for some reason, you know, then we'll go to plan B, which is the pump that we have set up and that is filled with water at the lake and we'll just have to build the garden at the lake uh, and the good thing about doing it there if we do do it there is that here again um there's a lot of room so if we wanted to expand the garden we certainly could it's really an ideal place i think
Where in the hell am I going? We need to get over onto this road. So anyway, I'm going to work on that off camera. And when we start to the next episode, what I would like to hopefully have in place is, is everything set up. And, you know, I'll show you guys. Uh, maybe I'll show some of that. But for the most part, it's really just, you know, put the pump down, hook up the pipes, line them up, and then have the crops right next to the pipes. So that's really all there is to it. And you can, you know, you can bury the pipes underground too, which I might do. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I would like to get back to looting. Um, we have that tier four school to do. And so that's the tentative plan for the next episode. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And look at me, Nurse Nancy. I can do wheelies. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.